Hi, I'm Bill Peters, retired battalion chief and apparatus supervisor of the Jersey City Fire Department. Today in Roll Call Tips, we're going to talk a little bit about tire inspection on your fire apparatus. And this is uh, critically important. When you're checking out the tires, if you're the chauffeur and you're going to be the driver for the day, it's important that you check out the tires. And the first thing you want to look at is what's obvious. The outside sidewalls, if you see any uh, cuts, damage, uh, bulging, things like that. And then uh, secondly is the tread wear. You know, the, the, uh, the person who used the apparatus before you may have accidentally hit a curb or something and, and damaged the t uh, sidewall of a tire and uh, not even knew it. Um, the next thing is tire pressure. Um, the current NFPA standard requires uh, tire pressure indicators and uh, it could be as extravagant as a uh, dashboard mounted panel that shows the actual tire pressure in the tires or it could be little uh, tire valve caps that illuminate with a red LED when the uh, tire pressure falls be be below a certain setting. So you want to be sure you check that. Every firehouse should have a tire pressure gauge uh, made for truck tires because it's uh, very important. All of the uh, apparatus has the correct cold tire pressure um, listed inside the cab. It's usually right inside the cab door with, along with the uh, listings of uh, the fluids that go in the rig and so forth. Remember, this is cold tire pressure, so the uh, rig should have been parked for a while. The tire should be uh, cool when you take the tire pressure. Secondly, go by the manufacturer's recommended tire pressure that's inside the cab, not the marking on the side of the tire, because the marking on the side of the tire is for a uh, maximum weight carrying. You want to uh, inflate it to what the apparatus man manufacturer tells you to uh, set it to. A particularly uh, dangerous condition happens when you have an inside tire on a dual set that goes flat. And sometimes you don't notice it because the outside tire is holding the load. But if you're responding and you, the truck leans on that side with the flat on the inside, that puts all the weight on the outside tire. You could have a blowout and lose control. So you want to be sure that those in, inside tires are uh, properly inflated. If you have any doubts and you don't have a pressure gauge, you can bump the tire. This is something that over-the-road truckers do all the time. You just take a hammer or a, a dull uh, instrument and tap the outside tire and then tap the inside one. A flat will just be a, a very flat sound instead of a, uh, like a ping when you, hit the, uh, when you hit the tire. When you're inspecting the tires, another thing that you want to check is the um, tire mounting uh, setup, lug nuts, uh, and so forth. Look for the possibility of elongated holes where the lugs uh, go through the rim. Sometimes if you have loose lugs, the, the, the rim will work and you'll get elongated holes. Um, the other thing is uh, we've been seeing some cracking of rims where you'll actually get small cracks forming from the lug holes uh, radiating out towards the outside. So that's very important as well. And finally, when you're driving the rig, it's important that you um, report anything that feels funny. If you feel like the, you have a shimmy, a pulling sensation, anything like that, it most definitely needs to be checked out. It's, uh, it's not your imagination. You should know when uh, something's not right. And you should use the uh, department's um, procedure for reporting a uh, deficiency like that. Uh, it's a, the utmost safety concern. That's today's roll call tips. Thank you.